What's up guys, Saf here on Super Saf TV and I've literally just got back from MWC. I haven't slept, I'm so tired. But Huawei gave me the MateBook Pro X. MateBook X Pro. Let's get it unboxed, right? I, I want to check it out before I go to sleep. I can sleep later. Sleep is not important. It is important. But anyway, let's get this unboxed. Right, so there's a little lever here that I can open. Ooh, okay, nice and easy. Oh, that's quite cool. Rather than the whole top coming off, it's like a nice little design. Huawei MateBook X Pro, Huawei logo, Dolby Atmos sound system, Intel inside. Ooh, look at, ooh, I, I, I like that, I like that. Did you guys see that? When you open up the box, it kind of lifts the laptop a little higher so it's easy to take out. Nice design. That's very light, we'll put that to the side for a second to see what else we get inside the box. So as well as the MateBook X Pro, you do get a 65 watt charger, as well as a USB type C to USB type C cable. Now your version might also come with some paperwork and a few other bits, but I've got a very, very early unit. So just do bear that in mind. All right, there's some plastic, which we can take off. Ooh, nice. Now in terms of the actual design, it's not really changed compared to the previous model. We've got the same diamond cut edges and the sandblasting, all of that good stuff. But what has changed is the Huawei logo. So before we had the full Huawei logo with that pattern thing, but now it just says Huawei. Looks a lot cleaner, I do like it. At the bottom we've got some grips. There's a window sticker as well as an Nvidia G4 sticker. And there's also a sticker saying not for sale. What, I, I can't sell this? What? I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm not gonna sell. Now it's only around 14.6 millimeters thin and around 1.33 kg, which is pretty decent. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. So I'm gonna try the one thumb test. Uh, okay, I don't, just about, let's try it again. Nah, it doesn't, doesn't pass the one thumb opening up test, whatever you call it. it doesn't pass that, but hey. Right, we've gone ahead and set this up and the first thing you'll notice is this beautiful display. It's a 13.9 inch LTPS display and we've got minimal bezel. So it's roughly about a 91% screen to body ratio. The resolution is 3000 by 2000. So it's three by two. And that gives you roughly about 260 PPI. So things are really, really sharp. sRGB 100% color gamut and you've got up to 450 nits of brightness. So Overall, a very, very nice display. For the specs, you've got an eighth generation Intel Core i7-8565U processor. There's also an i5 option available. You can get up to the NVIDIA GeForce MX250 with two gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM, eight or 16 gigabytes of LPDDR3 RAM, and you've got up to one terabytes of NVMe PCIe SSD storage. Now with those specs, you should be absolutely fine for day-to-day -day usage, even some image and possibly some light video editing and gaming. But of course, if you do want to do some heavy gaming, then this isn't going to be ideal. However, you do have two USB Type-C ports. One of these is a Thunderbolt 3 port, which means you can connect an external GPU if needed, and you can also connect an external 4K display. There's also a 3.5 mm jack, and on the right-hand side, you have a USB Type-A port. Now on the top right-hand side above the keyboard, there is the fingerprint power button 2.0 and you should just be able to press it when the device is off. It should recognize your fingerprint and let you straight in quite quickly. So let's test this out. It's switched off. Now there's gonna be a timer here at the side, which is gonna tell you exactly how long this is taking. I'm not gonna be able to see this timer until after this is done. So just look out for there. Okay, it's switched on. It's logging me in. Super safe, boom. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad, pretty cool. And there's a backlit keyboard, which, uh, Feels pretty good. We've got a decent amount of travel and we've got a decent sized trackpad as well. Now, as with last time, you do have a recessed front facing camera, which is one megapixels. And it's not great having this lower angle camera, but the advantage is that it's gonna be hidden away unless you actually want it active. Of course, privacy is a big thing. And you know, you might have some malware on your computer. Somebody might be watching you through your front facing camera. You might not know it. You might be doing some personal private stuff, maybe looking at particular websites particular videos, not that I do any of that, of course. But yeah, I mean, you might be doing that and somebody might be watching you with this, you know that it's not gonna be watching you unless you physically pop it out. 
Pretty cool. Now for the battery, you've got a 57.4 watt hour battery. And while we have said that this should last you between 12 to 14 hours, of course, usage varies. It's gonna come down to what you use your laptop for, but it should give you some pretty decent battery life. Now for the audio, you do have quad digital mics and quad speakers with Dolby Atmos. They do sound pretty good to me. And then you've got a new feature on here, which is Huawei Share. So while we're calling this one hub, which should be able to easily transfer files and text and things from your smartphone to your laptop. Now, this is only gonna work with other Huawei smartphones. So if you've got another smartphone, it's not gonna work. You do need to be in the Huawei ecosystem. And it's supposed to be pretty straightforward. So you can just go into the gallery, select a few images. So we're just gonna select a few here, okay? Then you just need to place it near the NFC sticker and it shoots it over and it should do this pretty quickly, taking a bit of time. Now this might be because I've got early, early hardware and software. So as this is updated from the demos that I saw, it was a lot quicker, but this is taking quite a bit of time. There was only around five images that I'd selected. Still going. Hmm. Yeah, this, this isn't a great demo. Still going. Okay, it's not supposed to take this long. I know it's not supposed to take this long because um, from the demos, it was much quicker, but hey, it finally worked. It's supposed to be much quicker. Again, this might be because I've got some pre-release hardware and software, so it should be pretty quick. And it's definitely a nice feature to have to share things between your smartphone and your tablet. You could be copying text on your smartphone and you can paste it here on the laptop. And you can also screen record whatever's on your laptop onto your smartphone up to one minute pretty easily with transfer speeds of up to 30 megabits a second. This should be faster once again, so just do bear that in mind. Now this is a touch screen and you've got some of Huawei's gestures, so you can swipe down with three fingers. Let's try this out, swipe down. There you go, those are the different options that you've got in here. We can just uh, draw a diagonal line to take a screenshot of whatever we need. Quite a cool feature. Now I haven't been given any pricing information as yet. As soon as I have that, I'll be dropping that in the description below, so do look out for that. I'll be leaving some links if you wanna pick this up. What do you guys think of the Huawei MateBook X Pro, definitely drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And if there's anything else that you'd like me to cover in more detail with this, then also let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then do hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and switch on notifications. We've got lots more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'm gonna go to sleep. So tired. See you next time.